Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to paint the company veteran with bolt rifle from the Space Marines Company Heroes box and this is going to be the third miniature that I paint from the box. Of course on my YouTube channel you can find a video of me painting the company veteran with a heavy bolter and you can find a video of me painting the company champion. I will leave the links in the description so you can go and check them out. But now it's time to paint uh, this Space Marine that we have here and as you can see this one has more changes than the previous ones because in the previous ones I just changed the shoulder pad for this uh, gentleman I changed the helmet this helmet is uh, a leftover from the Sword Brethren kit of the Black Templars I, I had it and I decided to use it for this uh, miniature I think it looks quite cool so I'm, I, I like how it looks and of course I added a Black Templar shoulder pad because uh, he deserves it and finally this is the backpack of the cap time in the box uh, because of course I decided to use a different backpack for the captain. If you are curious about which one I will use, this is a perfect opportunity to subscribe to the channel and see it in the future. But uh, now let's uh, start painting this miniature. Today I'm going to change a little bit how I proceed. Uh, first of all, I'm going to glue these uh, battlefield rocks to the base. I, I already made a video about this, most probably. Uh, because I got this one, they are like a new addition to my collection of things for the hobby and I will add them probably in the back to cover some space. After that I will prime the miniature with uh, Chaos Black from Citadel as usual. I, I like this one a lot and it's perfect for my Black Templars. And then I will apply some technical paint, some technical Azoranite debris, that is the one that I use for my Black Templars and of course because of consistency I will have to use the same always now. And with that being said, we can start with the process of painting this uh, awesome Space Marine. And this is where the fun begins, so let's start painting this veteran and first of all I would like to start with the white and grey parts. So for that, first of all I will use uh, Ashing Grey, that's like a darker grey and then Dawnstone. I will use this in every part that they want to be white or every part that they want to be grey. For example, the, the rocks in the base, I want them to be grey and the purity seals, the robe and this symbol over here, I want them to be white. As well with uh, this... Uh, part over here and I will also use it in part of the symbol that we can see here. I already did this with the uh, uh, previous veteran so it's because of consistency it should be like that. And uh, let's start! Everything ready for the next step and for that we are going to use uh, Wraithbone and I'm going to use this color to make white everything that I want to be white. In this case the robes as well as this uh, symbol over here, the ability seal 
and the shoulder pad and then I will use again right bone to dry brush the base of the miniature especially these uh, rocks here I want to have them like a nice uh, color and then I'm going to use uh, more foam brown and I will use this one for the for here the weapon and I'm going to also use it for the belt and everything that he's carrying like for example the the knife here this uh, pocket things over here as well like this kind of uh, details that we have around and after that we will be able to proceed with the painting but let's start with that To finish with the base colors of the miniature, I'm going to use uh, corn red, this one for all the red elements. Of course, this is going to be a veteran, so I will do red uh, shoulder pads, I will have uh, red eyes, the weapon is going to be red as well, and I will also use it for the purity seals, so th that will be red in this miniature for sure. Uh, then I will use uh, lead belcher for all the metallic elements and details in the, in the power armor and especially for the arm it's going to be super cool and of course as for the weapon this uh, symbol here in the back and also like i usually do the inside parts of the power armor and some parts in the in the back and then i will use uh, baltasar gold for the gold elements of the miniature like uh, this symbol over here that uh, looks quite nice and also the, the kind of necklace that he's wearing as well with the, the skull here in the back like i usually do and with that being said, we can continue.
Here we have some beautiful base colors for this uh, Space Marine veteran and now it's going to be the time for the next step. I would like to add some shade to the miniature but before that I would like to use uh, this color Runlord Brass to paint these uh, two bullets that we can see here. I didn't paint them and I would like to have them with this color to have a little bit of differentiation and I usually paint the bullets with that color so you know because of consistency. And after that, I will use two shades for this miniature. First, I'm going to use uh, Agrax Air Shade, and I'm going to use this one basically for all the golden elements in the miniature, the purity seals as well, and this uh, symbol over here. And as well, I will use with all the like leather things, like for example, this uh, part over here. Basically, the things that I painted brown, I will use uh, this shade on them. And then I will use uh, Null Noil, uh, my beloved Null, Null Noil, and I will use that one basically for all the metallic parts of the of the miniature, specifically this uh, arm, and then of course the all everything that I painted with the lead belcher, I will use uh, some Null Noil on it, and after that I should be able to proceed with the highlights. So one step at a time, let's do the shading. I really like when I add these washes because as you can see the color changes kinda and now this uh, lead belcher is more uh, darker and uh, where the places that I added the Agrax Air Shade, the, the color is different like for example the, I used the same white for this uh, pu the purity seals and such and now we can see that they are completely different colors and they have like different, uh, I don't know, they, they feel different and that's something that it's uh, quite nice in my opinion and uh, as well with the uh, with the arm, we can see that uh, with the null noil, we can really pop out the details out of it. Now it looks much better than it used to look because it's not like monochromatic. Now we have like uh, textured, we have like shapes. It's like shades, it's like the, the details really pop out and that's quite uh, interesting always. And now we have a quite interesting miniature with a quite boring black power armor. So we need to do something about that. And for that, I will use the usual colors that I uh, usually use for my black templars. Uh, in the first place, I'm going to use Dark Reaper and I will use this one in every single edge of the power armor to try to create some, like, let's say some volume, uh, more detail to it because right now it's like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of boring, so it will be nicer. And then I will use uh, Fenris and Grey. This is like a lighter uh, grey, bluish kind of, it's a nice tone, they combine quite nice together and I will use this one for let's say the areas that I really want to pop out from the power armor, the ones that they are going to be like the most exposed. And after that, it should be quite a handsome miniature. So let's continue.
This Space Marine is almost ready to join the battlefield. Right now we just need more highlights. And for that I have these colors right here. And uh, I'm going to use uh, Corax White. This is like a super white white. I will use it for the cloth and I will use it for also this skull right here. And then I have uh, Red Water Armor. This is like a very golden gold. More yellowish than the one that we have right now. And I will use it for the golden parts of the miniature, basically. More highlights to these uh, things right here and to the skull in the back. Then I will use uh, Stormhost Silver. This one is like a very silver, uh, silver color. And I'm going to use it to enhance the metallic parts of the miniature. Like, for example, the, the weapon, the, the hand, well, the whole arm and this uh, symbol here in the back. And then finally, of course, I will use Evil Sun Scarlet. I will use this one for all the red parts of the miniature, the purity seal, the shoulder pads, this symbol right here. Corrected this mistake that we can see here. And of course, the weapon. And after that, this miniature should be almost, almost finished. So let's do it. So what do you think? This is the final result of my company veteran with the bolt rifle and I have to say that I really 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 love this miniature. I mean when I saw it for the first time I really like it because of course this like metallic arm was like super uh, catchy and it was like uh, something very cool but everything about this miniature I, I mean I really like everything for example the, the pose like he looks super confident he looks like okay I'm a veteran and I don't care what the job is, I will do it and I will do it in a effortless, uh, elegant way. So he looks super cool to me and uh, I, I really like this one a lot. I enjoyed a lot uh, painting this miniature and I hope that you also enjoy it. I try to write something for the first time here in the side. I usually don't, I usually skip this part, but this time I felt like I had to do it because he deserves it. I will try to fix it a little bit. It says uh, Deus in... It's a god in Latin because, of course, he's fighting for the god emperor. Uh, of course, he's a black templar. That's what uh, what that's what he's fighting for. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm I'm really happy, and as usual, uh, I would really like to know your opinion about what you what do you think about this uh, miniature. 
And of course, if you are still here, please consider giving me a like and subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.